Alright guys, welcome back to the channel. Open this door. So, just like my other, my 2012 Ram 2500, I put in a uh, air filter kit or cabin filter. So, um, here's the part number. This, I'm assuming, is a Fram CAF. 4313 made in China, Echo in China. Um, it's Spanish in China. That's cool. Um, you would think that if it's made in China and they would write it in their language or in their uh, letters, I guess. <laughs> anyway, airflow obviously goes up. So um, I'm going to show you guys, I guess, the last video. Um, I didn't really go into detail. It was kind of uh, hard to see the video. I guess the lighting was bad. Anyway, here's the the Mopar part, the part number for that for the cap. It is six eight five or six eight zero five two two nine two AA dash zero zero one. So genuine Mopar part. Um, I don't know if you need any of that, so I'll hold it here for a second because most people go like this, which I'm sure I'm one of those guys. They go, there's the part number. The camera doesn't even get to focus. So, um, I don't think, well, you will need tools, but in this truck, well, get this out. <clears throat> So the last one I bought was uh, kind of a cheap one. It wasn't a Mopar one. This one is a Mopar part, and which is why I went to this one. So hopefully it'll have better fitment. <clears throat> Gotta see if I can't open this door more. Um, yeah, let me go. Let me go get a flashlight and a towel to put over that mirror so I don't scratch my door. Um, but this truck. It is already cut out, and uh, whoever did it, they never put a filter in there, I don't think. Um, so, what they did was they put some, like, roofing tar. They put some roofing tar over it, over the hole. And, uh, yeah, the, the truck, when the heater was on in the morning, it smelled like tar. And so I decided to check it out and I uh, found that tar and stuff and what I ended up doing was was taking that tar stuff off so anyway first thing you gotta do is empty your glove box and then um, what you'll do is you have to push in on these right here so you'll push this side and you'll push this side see it in there or not I'll show you once I get it out so let me just try to set the camera there and then it flop, flops out so you basically just got to get that piece passed and then you have these little pieces that sit in these holes right here so they, those just cup that so, anyway, what I ended up doing is I put a piece of duct tape in there after I found out that there was whatever was in there, that tar stuff. So I put a piece of duct tape there. Let's see if I can get the lighting right. Um, which maybe, maybe not. So I put a piece of duct tape, like I said. And... Yeah. Oh, I put two pieces of duct tape. Excuse me. Sorry. So, yeah, you'll want to cut it out. I don't know what all why they did all this. Whoever was messing with that. I'm assuming they took out the blower motor for some reason. Because this blower motor, it doesn't sound bad, but it 
it sounds different than my 2012 and that could just be because it is different so anyway this one is already cut out I'm gonna try to zoom in so I don't have to hold the camera so this one's already cut what you got to do is you got to either take a razor blade it looks like they took like a, a hot knife maybe and they cut this opening so you got this opening in here that you got to cut out in order for the filter to slide in and then once the filter slides in you take this cap and you slide it over it and it should snap in there so and then you can throw it wherever you want so like I said this one's already cut um, so you can either take a Dremel in here or a small Dremel or a razor knife what I did on my 2012 was I heated it up with a heat gun and I used a razor knife a razor blade whatever you want to call it and it made heating it up made the plastic soft so that I can get in there and cut it and then I took a, a little Dremel and I just cleaned up some edges that were sharp and uh, pretty much uh, pretty much cleaned it all up and I was also running the vacuum when I was using the Dremel to catch anything to keep it from going into the fan so um, yeah this one's gonna be easy because it's already done so um, again I'm just gonna put it all in here but you get the concept of, of cutting that out all out that's a flat piece of plastic that's in there um, you just don't want any of the plastic to go in there so I'm just gonna stick the air filter in so airflow down kinda hard to get in because of the angle Let's see if I can do it a different way So, if you wanted to tuck it back into the dash, that's not working either. So, I'll just play with it and bend it. I'm just trying not to get the camera in view. Okay. So, I might end up having to trim this one. I don't know yet. doing this video but it might work it might not work so so far it's working other than something over there so yeah probably Trim it over here because it's wanting to catch. Um, there it goes. So, not sure if it's supposed to fit in like that or not. But, oops. So, you just want to make sure all your wiring's out of the way. I got wiring over here. Not sure if you can even see that or not. Can you see my wiring? So I got. Come on, zoom. So I got all that wiring that's kind of in the way right there for it to to latch on. So you can see the little tab over there that it has to catch. Um, then you have that tab that it has to catch. So, anyway, let's uh, get you guys back there. Then you just take this piece and you can either snap one side or snap the other side. So 
so they might have they might have jacked up the tab. Maybe they tried to put one in. And they couldn't get it to go in quite right. Yeah, it seems like they seems like they broke this tab on this side. Try again. Sometimes they're hard to get, sometimes they're not. What it could be too is it could be these little prongs here. I don't know if you see these little prongs right here in here. It might not be going under the filter. trim it up. Let me let me go get some trimming tools and trim it up real quick. I'll be back. Alright guys. <clears throat> so I ended up having to clean it up a lot. Um, there was a lot of glue or whatever. Something was all over it. So just took this knife here and then I had to clean basically all the corners. So you can see all that Alright, you can see all this like, I don't know what they did, it's almost like there's super glue or something on it. Um, but yeah, so basically this, this whole lip here, this lip that's in there, um, that lip has to go in this groove, so, and then... Yeah, so that's about, that's all the stuff I had to cut out, remainder, and then there's probably stuff in the fan. Um, I'm going to take these three screws out, one, two, oh, three, back there. I'm going to take those three screws out and hopefully this fan will drop down and then I can clean all that out. So, let's try this again, because why not? Because it seems to be my job to clean up work after everybody all the time. So, sometimes I clean up work after myself. So, this thing should go in smoother too because I cleaned a lot of that crap up out of there that was all stuck on the sides. there clean this off tuck it in I think that one snapped that one snapped okay now we're okay there now it snapped okay so now we're good so that's what it's supposed to look like all snapped in there snapped snap just make sure when you're cutting this watch these wires over here definitely definitely watch those wires I thankfully didn't have to do that much cutting I just had to do a bunch of trimming 
So I'm gonna go try to get, try to see if I can't take this fan out and see how much stuff got into that fan. So let me go get a couple tools, I'll be back. All right guys, I got the fan out. It was just those three screws. And I don't know, it's just a lot of dirt that was in there. I think there was like one or two pieces. Like maybe this, I think something like this was in there. <clears throat> so what I did was I took the fan, just the blade itself obviously, and ran it under some hot water to clean it all out. Um, but anyway, yeah, so look inside there. Nothing crazy. So, go ahead and slap this fan back on, and that's pretty much it for the install of this. So, yeah, it's just three screws and a connector, that connector right there. So, um, but yeah, that's that's how you install that uh, the uh, cabin filter. Um, pretty straightforward, pretty much like everything else. So that's going to be it for this video, guys. You guys got any questions, just comment below. You don't have to be idiots and say something because, I don't know, well, whatever. Be idiots, I don't care, because most of you guys out there are going to be, um, that are going to comment. Not my normal people. You guys go ahead and comment. You guys can tell me how, uh, however you want to feel. I don't care. <clears throat> Alright guys, that's going to be it. Subscribe, give me a like, give me a dislike, I don't care. Thanks for watching. Later.